Hey guys, Eric Prestera. It's been some time since I've made a video with you guys and have uploaded, and hopefully that's going to change pretty shortly. Um, so a little update, bought a house, uh, I got my own shop, garage, lift, whatnot. Um, the Camaro, it seems to always want to be a pain in my rear. Um, I'm on a second set of heads right now. And I'm actually about to lift the car, uh, pull bumper off, pull heads out of the car, ship those off to somebody that bought them so I can do some CIDs that I've been waiting on doing. But also in that process, the motor's coming out and the transit's coming out. So. Get it! First time out of the autocross, first in class. camera won't zoom enough. Listen to that thing. I'm going to do a time lapse as best as I can of each process that I'm doing. Um, possibly during the time lapse, I'm going to explain it as best as I can also um, of what I plan on doing and how I plan on going about all of this. Fuel system's been pretty much fully upgraded. The motor's been already upgraded, but recently, since putting in the new head, the motor sound, sounds uh, a little weird, not like normal. Um, at one point I had a belt issue with my pulleys and my tensioner and that's all been rebuilt. I've went from an eight rib to a 10 rib system. Uh, right before I did that, I kept throwing belts. One time I threw a belt, it took out my oil pump sensor, uh, just the connector. So the connector was ripped out of, uh, the other part of the connection. Like it didn't destroy the oil pump but it made it so it was no longer controlling oil. And during that process, my oil went from its 35, 40 area, like, well, it's either at idle or cruising or whatever, to 80 PSI to pretty much max. And I did not know that my oil pressure went up until I was pretty much driving for a little bit. And yeah, so whenever I got was able to stop, my entire engine bay was coated in oil. Um, Ended up leaving the car where it was at. Got a trailer within the day, I believe. Trailered it back home. Replaced the front main seal. Um, ordered a whole new wire harness for the oil pump, which was a pain in the rear to install. Uh, put it back on. The car started making even more weird noises. I lost probably about 7 PSI of what I would normally see for boost. So done compression tests, I've done all the things you could think of, um, checked for boost leaks, and my boost is still down. My compression testing was all fine. Leak down was all good. So I'm already at the point that either I threw a bearing and uh, during the new head swap, something's not lined up correctly and it just slightly loses air. But whenever I do a pressure test with my air compressor, um, it'll hold. It holds air. Like it has a slight little leak, but not like it's not mind boggling leaking. It's what you would typically expect for a leak. So with that being said, I'm going to start a time lapse. Front bumper is going to come off. Um, I'll see how much of tonight I can get. I know I'll be able to get fuel at least disconnected. Um, and probably intake manifold off the heads might have to come in the morning, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy what you see, and it's been a little bit, but I hope I can keep making you guys content. Uh, we're going to upgrade the fuel system a little bit more, or at least do some routing. Uh, transmission needs a refresh. The motor's getting a refresh. I'm getting CID heads. Um, so, yeah.
that. Got the heads out of the car. Um, they're going to be shipped out once I clean them up. So next thing I'm going to end up doing here is pulling the motor entirely. I just needed to get those out first before I pull the motor because um, I don't know exactly when I'm actually going to get to this. i got to clean up everything in here so there's no coolant and stuff on it. Um, get the wires out of the way because the trans is also coming out. Um, got to decide if I'm pulling it out the top or the bottom or if I'm pulling the motor and then dropping the trans or how I want to go about it. If you guys have any suggestions on what you think would make sense because I don't have a table for the bottom. So, But I do have a lift. I understand an actual lift. I just, you know, the whole thing. So, cars going up. He's also already out. Um, Tanks, all the random shit for the motor, intake, power charger, like, just, you know, all the stuff. Um, if you've never done this, I've done this actually a couple times. It's not too hard. It's definitely quite easier with the lift. I do have to clean up all this because I'm not a fan that it's all underneath, but that will be, um, a little bit later and I'll need to record that. So if you guys like what you saw or have any suggestions and want to see other stuff, just let me know. But um that's it for now. And here's the underneath of this sucker. So um more than likely gonna redo my fuel system again so my regulator swear I want it and it's out of the way instead of in the way, it's kind of in the way of the head, it's in the way of the headers, uh, the routing anyway. It's just really tight, and I don't like it being tight. Because if I try to access a spark plug, if I need to quick remove it, I pretty much have to pull apart my fuel system, which is kind of not good. But, alright, catch you on the next one.